Happy Easter. Come on, rejoice. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Good Friday was a long day and it brought sorrow to so many who witnessed the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. Whereas Easter is a day of rejoicing. Everyone who heard about that Jesus is risen marveled at the hearing and the disciples were able to witness that he is risen. Rejoice! That's the message for the day. This word appears 250 times and more in the Holy Bible. Saint Paul, when he is writing to the church at Philippi, he is repeatedly telling them, Rejoice! And he says, Again I say rejoice! We have our liturgy when we say that we celebrate his resurrection. This gathering which we have on the Easter day is a day that enables us to rejoice in our life in the risen Lord. This risen Lord enabled us to meditate on his passion, on his suffering, on his death on the cross through the days that we had for the last 50 days. So the Great Lent enabled us to look at the life and work of Jesus Christ. And today it has brought the good news that he is not only one who died on the cross, but he also rose from the dead. Easter is not simply a day that is marked in our calendar to rejoice. Easter brings us the joy for every day and therefore every day is Easter celebration for those who believe in the resurrection of Jesus. This resurrected Lord enabled the disciples to have a deeper faith on him. His appearance that occurred again and again strengthened the disciples not only to see him as the risen Lord, but also to believe in his promises and all the words that he spoke during his public ministry. So let this Easter be a day that enables us to deepen our faith. Easter is also reminding us that we need to live with the values of the kingdom, a kingdom which he proclaimed while he carried out his public ministry. The kingdom of God is at hand and therefore believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel were the words that Jesus Christ said uh, to the public. And on this Easter day, let us remind ourselves that Christ is again telling us, repent and believe in the gospel for the kingdom of God is at hand. We live with hope. The hope is that he will come again. And we say in our Nicene Creed that we look forward uh, to the day of resurrection and also for his second coming. While we have the Holy Kurbana service, we also say we remember his death, we celebrate his resurrection, and we look forward to his second coming. So we live in this world with the hope of seeing Jesus Christ coming again. To see that we carry out the mission which God has given to us through our lives. And at the same time, to rejoice with him when he gathers around all those who put their faith in him. To see that we are all with him in the kingdom of God. It gives us meaning to our day-to-day -day life. It gives hope for our future and that hope enables each one of us to make our day-to-day -day life more effective and fruitful. May the joy of Easter be with one and all of you. Once again, I wish you a happy Easter.